So whenever there's a situation like this, especially when it involves um, harmless snakes, uh, there's a lot of confusion in the comments. And a lot of times that confusion is, is uh, expressed by anger at homeowners, uh, at you know, whoever, including us, for not leaving a king snake in place, not leaving a gopher snake in place, because we agree these are snakes that don't need to be relocated. But the reality, if we put the idealism down for a second, is that this whole situation is incredibly complex and messy. The city has doubled in size since I moved here 25 years ago. There's tons of homes being put up all the time. There's people moving here from all over. It is just not a, a situation that a lot of people have expected to have a snake in their yard. There's people that have lived their entire lives in the middle of Scottsdale or Phoenix that find a king snake in their yard or a gopher snake and have never seen it before. It is a, a, a ridiculous expectation that everybody's going to handle this in the same way to the same educated level that we hope that they they do um, and a lot of times and this is why we still respond to these calls is that these snakes these harmless ones end up being that learning experience for people where they call this first time and if we do our job right they don't call the second time because this is where they learn about king snakes is the one they learn about gopher snakes and learn about yeah these do live in your yard and it can take a little while for somebody to negotiate that fact with themselves. We learned the hard way a long time ago about what happens if we let our idealism win and we refuse to come out to get king snakes and gopher snakes and harmless stuff like that. Uh, and that result is dead snakes because people are, you know, it takes some time. So that's our role in these cases is to relocate the snake do it in a responsible way, provide as much information as you possibly can uh, to the homeowner so that they know what to do for the next time. And uh, it all works out okay. The snake obviously would be better if it wasn't relocated, but you know that we're gonna take great care. This whole situation of snakes and people living together in a massive city, a lot of times it's not pretty. A lot of times it's not the way you'd expect it to be or want it to be. Um, and that's what we're trying to show you here. A little bit of that so give them a break and uh, we can all try to learn together how to deal with this <laughs>